Well, fam, field of 64 is down to four. <clears throat> and y'all know what it is. These Gamecocks still in it. We still in it. It ain't like I'm surprised. Now, I'm not surprised at all because y'all know I said I, I, I've been here for the Natty all season. But it's this thing winding down. Our upcoming matchup is going to be against North Carolina State Wolfpack. And I think it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be close, but not so close that it's like one or two, but not a blowout, not 10 or 12, you know, between seven and nine. I think it'll be comfortable. But I'm not sleeping on NC State, y'all. I want y'all to understand. I understand that now they have, I think, consistently throughout the season kind of showcased uh, their, their, uh, their continuous fight, if you will. And I think that we have showcased our continuous, uh, I don't know, for lack of a better word, fam, prowess, lack of a better word, uh, right now on the court. Uh, I think our, our track record in, in recent seasons uh, speaks for itself. I think the standard is the standard, and we continue to we continue to represent that. Uh, of of course, under under the coach under the leadership of Coach uh, Don Staley, or as, as as Hollywood said, the Don Staley. Uh, she not nervous, we not nervous, but she has set a high bar for competitive play year after year. And, and we continue, our players continue to meet this bar. And I, I believe that we will, uh, be successful again in meeting this bar, uh, come, come Friday night to, to take one more step towards being able to play for a national title and being able to, uh, overcome the hump that we didn't overcome last year. But like I said, I'm not sleeping on the the uh, the, the NC State Wolfpack. I think a lot of people underestimated them uh, coming into coming into the into the season and into the tournament. I think that they've continuously demonstrated resilience uh, and, and skill. Um, they have, they, you know, they continue to be a presence all year. I think they're a formidable opponent. This is their first time in the, in the, in the Final Four since 1998, uh, and that just is again underscores again uh, their dedication and their their season of, <clears throat> of hard work and, and uh, victories, you know, um, you know, they, they had some, they had some, they had some good victories coming in here. They, they, uh, to get to where they're at right now in this tournament, they had to come through uh, Texas, Stanford, Tennessee, Chattanooga. Uh, that's no easy feat. Um, and of course they had some, they had some losses this year that, 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 that raised my eyebrow and made me say, mm, you know, this is where I think we may, we may be able to, uh, to stand up against them. They, they lost twice to, to Vitek. They lost to Miami. They lost to North Carolina. They lost to Duke. And they lost to Notre Dame. Uh, <clears throat> and understand that they went 31-6 this year, uh, Second finished second in the ACC, so could have very well won the ACC this year. They're led by uh, AJ, 16.7 points. Madison Hayes giving six, uh, just about seven rebounds. Uh, Sonia Rivers, of course, is just giving about just about four rebounds. Uh, two assists, I'm, I'm sorry, four assists, two steals, and of course, River Baldwin with just about one block. And then, of course, we had Zoe Brooks, who showed up as a freshman and, and, and contributed right away, and I think had a great season, averaging just about nine points, four rebounds, uh, four assists, one steal, and uh, almost a block a game while shooting. Just about uh, 41 for the floor, 71 for free throw, not really a three-point shooter, but a uh, great showing for, for the freshman. Uh, they have a dynamic roster, pivotal players uh, across their positions. I think, of course, I said they're, they're, they're key t team members already. But in addition to the in addition to the names I said already, there's Mimi Mimi Collins, Alyssa Lewis, uh, Maddie Cox, Lizzie w Williamson, uh, Katie P, Lacey Steele, uh, Jenna Essa, and Mallory Collier. Uh, and I think it's a blend of experience, new talent. Uh, Seasoned veterans, uh, pretty, 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 uh, pretty good mix. I think they've been mostly led by uh, their upperclassmen, uh, and they bring some. They bring they bring a range of height. You know, six three, six two, six five, six three, six five, five ten, five eight, six foot, five nine, five seven, six two, six one, five eleven. Like I said, athletic, speed, length. Um, like I said, they had some good wins. They had some good losses. Uh, I'm sorry, some 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 questionable losses. I would say. Um, but I think they've been, st they stay committed to excellence throughout the year. Uh, and I think that will continue, um, as they, as they come into this, into this game. Uh, I think it was undeniable. It was, it, it was, uh, 
definitely going to come to a point where we will see Sanaya Rivers again. She's landed in a good spot. She's been able to go and be a leader. She's been able to show off her skill set. Uh, very good, very good uh, place for her to be uh, and continue to develop her game. It seems like it's worked out very well for her at NC State. And I'm very happy for her. Uh, they continue to grow over the season. Uh, and, and they're going to come in and they, they're going to play us like there's nothing to lose. And we're going to need to show up and be Gamecocks. We, of course, are 36-0. and We know this. We know who our leader is. Uh, Camila Cardoso come in with 14.1 points, 9.4 rebounds, 2.5 blocks. Uh, Raven, Hollywood Johnson giving us five assists, two steals. Let's go start from there and, and, and go down. Y'all know that our our, our double-figure scores uh, for the season, Camila, Tahina, Malaysia. We got a talented roster. Uh, we have been poised for success, I think, all year. Um, surprising for some people, of course, with us having the, uh, the five starters go to, uh, go to the WNBA coming in rank six, not sure really, uh, people weren't sure really what Dawn was going to be able to do. Was it a rebuilding? Was it a retooling? It was just a re-up, y'all. It was just a re-up. We went right back and got what we had, an undefeated season. It was a re-up. And so now we have to see if our re-up, uh, was enough to get us over the hump that we couldn't get over, over last year. And so that's, that's what this game is about. And that's what, when we look at, uh, I think the number one, uh, transfer out of the portal, Tahina Pow Pow, best, the best three point shooter in the nation, uh, this year, I think, um, I think we'll be looking to get her going really early. Uh, Malaysia Fuwali hasn't had the tournament that I thought she would have. I, I wanted, I wanted to see something more like the SEC tournament. She had some freshman moments, which is to be expected, but I think, She's experienced enough now, and she has her March Madness legs where we're going to see a, a Malaysia Fuwali um, classic type of game. I'm also expecting some big games from Ashlyn Watkins and Sanaya Fagan, along with Tessa with the J. I know Tessa with the J got going to the last game, uh, and I think it's just going to go from there. I love the confidence that I've seen come out of her game, uh, come up in her game last last game with the, with, with the three, going to the basket, the M ones, the defense, all of those things are uh, things that we're going to be able to build on in this game and that will be uh, really helpful for us. Of course, um, for those of y'all who, who, who aren't familiar, uh, in addition to uh, Chameleon Raven and Malaysia and Tahina, we got Ashlyn Watkins, as, as I mentioned, uh, Sanaya Fagan, Chloe Big Grits Kits. I'm expecting a big game out of Big Grits Kits, okay? Uh, don't sleep on Chloe Big Grits Kits. You can't outwork Big Grits, okay? Uh, we got Breezy Bree Hall uh, and... Of course, Sakima Walker, Mama Bear, uh, who I th who I think um, does a lot of things behind the scenes um, and, and off the court that doesn't show up there that is really helpful and common for this team and and, and often overlooked, you know. So, um, but understanding everybody on this team plays an important role uh, and does their part. So I, I definitely want to call that out. Um, and we just got a mix of I think uh, great talent, um, great great leadership. Um, again, again, a good mix. Everybody knows their roles. We show up and kind of um, do what we're supposed to do. And I love the way that this team holds holds each other accountable. I love that they don't want to lose. And you see that in the way that they show up and play for uh, not only themselves and the coaches, but uh, for each other. Our depth is, what, is what's been keeping us, uh, I think, ahead of the game. It's been bolstering our, 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 our wins. Um, and, of course, that, that's, you know, the, the addition of Tahina Pow Pow, our freshmen that are in – um, our ability to uh, stay healthy. Uh, thank goodness for bodies by Molly Bonetti. If you don't got a, if you don't got a body by Molly Bonetti, you need to try to get one. At least get a certificate so you can train somebody to have one. That's just a side note. Some y'all, some of y'all teams need to get with, get with Molly. Uh, but uh, we well, we well equipped. We we are well equipped for uh, this last push, y'all. And I'm excited to see what we do on Friday. Uh, coming in here, um, I think. We we've really we've really shown uh not just our depth but our versatility. Um with with players stepping up in key in key moments to secure victories, uh whether that's Camila Cardoso knocking down a three, whether that's Sanaya Fagan stepping in when Camila Cardoso was away, if that's my Lady Fu Wiley uh showing out in the SEC tournament. Uh just being able to figure out ways to win. Uh, we we've continued to do that. Uh the leadership and the floor generalship that Raven has shown uh this year remarkable. That is my point guard, best point guard in the nation for me. Uh, she has guided this team to 36-0 and um, and definitely um, in a position to be able to, 
to, to guide us the rest of the way. Um, the defense that Bree, that Bree Hall play, plays on, on some of the best players in, in the nation um, and some of the best uh, some of the best players that we face uh, game after game, uh, definitely underrated, but um, will definitely be on display in these next two games if we are <clears throat> indeed to get our job done. So uh, I'm on the lookout, y'all. We didn't already we didn't already left a mark. We didn't already left a mark on this on the season with the victories and, and the way we came in here. It's time for us to finish it up, go get it done. Uh, I can't get to Friday fast enough, y'all. I want to hit. I want to hit fast forward, and then I just saw Joyce Edwards play, so I'm ready to hit fast forward and get to next season. Because, wow, does she look dynamic? I can't. I can't wait to see uh, how she fits into this thing. But, but really, just uh, really right now, focusing one game at a time. And right now, it's all about NC State Wolfpack, y'all. So we're gonna bring that prize energy in the building. Y'all know I'm gonna be live for the game. Come hang out with me in the live on Thursday night for a pregame. We're gonna look at uh, the ESPN list of. Uh, the best 25 left in the tournament. Uh, we'll take a preview, talk it over about the, uh, not only our game, but the UConn-Iowa game. See what y'all are thinking. Get in the comments and let me know who you got right now, what you think the scores will look like, who you think the MVP will be. Um, and with that, y'all, I'm going to get on out of here. Until next time, stay tuned. Talk soon. It's your favorite auntie with Uncle Tennessee's. I'm out.